Mm, this is cool. And you look at this and you say, okay, <laughs> is he in the deep woods? Is he in Montana? Is he in Backwoods, New Hampshire? Nope. I'm in Bristol, Connecticut. Now, this water, if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me use this analogy before. This water is the Pequabic River, and it leads into the Farmington River, which leads into the Connecticut River, which leads into the Long Island Sound, which leads into the Atlantic Ocean. So you've heard the analogy before. Hmm, we'll get a look. This bridge, and here's the thing I want to talk with you about. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to get hit by a car. Um, this bridge was built in the 1920s somewhere, I'm certain of it. This bridge that goes over the Pequabic. And it leads to, and this I do get to walk over because this is the Sunday before Memorial Day. This leads to Memorial Boulevard in Bristol, Connecticut. I'm going to make an argument. I'm going to relate this back to whatever it is you're trying to do now. This bridge is the height of optimism. It was built in the 1920s, and I'm pretty sure it was. It was pretty soon after World War I. Let's take a stroll. And thousands and thousands of soldiers, sailors, marines, airmen died in the war. And everybody came home from the war to end all wars, and they said, okay, the worst is over, we're going to build. And then, of course, World War II came after that, and then Korea, excuse me, v, uh, Korea came after that, and Vietnam, and Desert Storm, and Afghanistan, and they knocked down the World Trade Center. Nobody stopped. Nobody stopped building. You're going to get your ass kicked in what's going on in your life. You're going to build and things are going to be great and then something is going to knock you on your butt. You're going to give up? Is that what builds bridges? Is that what builds glory? Is that what gives you a life worth living? Look down there. I don't know if you see that far, but that's an, either an Arabic or a Pakistani family. I don't know anything about them. There's a civil war. I don't know anything about that family, but man, I bet you anything, they risked all kinds of stuff to make something good happen in their lives. And you're going to sit there and you're going to complain because your internet connection doesn't work. Because apples are more expensive than they used to be, because gas is up 10 cents a gallon. Stop for a second and realize just how good you have it, that you live in the most abundant, exciting time in the history of humankind. The people who got knocked on their rear ends got back up and they built a country and they built a civilization. You bet your ass I want you to honor that and you bet your ass I'm going to honor it. Go out and create your life. It's calling.